Cruz Azul victory, the final score, 2-1. to one. All right, uh, as we think about Pumas, Herc, we know that it was a marriage of convenience between Pumas and the Brazilian star Danny Alves. As we now look back on that marriage, who do you think was a bigger loser? Is it the club or is it the player? You know, bigger loser, the club or the player, I'm going to say it's the player. Hmm. Now, bear with me of where I'm going to go with this, okay? We knew it was a bad idea. You don't spend $3.5 million a year, okay? That's what you're going to pay him in a salary for Danny Alves, a 39-year-old player. To come into a team that has historically been young players, dynamic players, all work, that type of environment. And Lilini's team, who's literally, everybody has to work for the system, for the team to be constructive. But if I'm Danny Alves, and I'm 39 years old, and I'm thinking about a World Cup, I'm thinking, Pumas has just cost me my chance at a World mm. Cup. And not only that, Dani Alves, who has the record for the most titles in the world, okay? 17 straight years of earning a title. Since 2005, he's won a title, at least one, every single year. That's 47 titles. All of a sudden, it's going to end in Mexico, mm. in Liga MX with Pumas? With Puma, seriously, they could really cost me that streak. They could really cost me a World Cup spot because nothing's guaranteed under TJ. Nothing's guaranteed under this Brazil, who one of the favorites in Qatar. If I'm Danny Alves, I don't care how much money they're paying me. I feel like a big loser with Pumas. Yep. He was called up in June to the Brazilian national team. He joins Pumas in July, and then for their latest roster call up, he's left out. So you just do the math there. You follow the, the timeline, and you say, okay, yeah, the move to Liga Mekis may very well have cost Dani Alves this shot. For those of you uh, who watch ESPN FC, they had a Brazilian journalist on today. They were talking about the right back position. The one line he gave about Dani Alves is he went to Mexico and he's playing poorly. So that's what they think in Brazil of what Dani Alves has been playing here. He's also been playing out of position, at least uh, from a Brazilian national team perspective. So I think it's very much hurt him there. And I have, Pumas has definitely gotten worse with Danny Alves, yes. but I have no problem, Herc, with the attempt. It's a home run swing. When you take a home run swing, there's a chance you whiff. But how many times on this show have we said, Pumas is bordering on irrelevant. Of, of Los Grandes, they're the team that we talk about the least. Going out and getting a, a player like Dani Alves, even if it was $3.5 uh, million dollars a year, which is a lot for Pumas, still says something about their place in Mexican soccer and the world game. I don't have a problem for it for, for, from a Pumas perspective in that regard. I thought it was ambitious, and I think if you're a fan of Pumas, that's what you'd want to see, right? Well, he's not the only player they took a, a, an ambitious swing at. They actually spent money in this offseason, and mm -hmm. I think that's what makes it even worse. For the first time in a long time, they tried to be relevant, and they've not gotten anywhere. And you mentioned the position that Dani Alves plays. He's a right back, but he started off as a defensive midfielder. Then he started off as an eight. And so recently, we've seen him play behind the striker, behind the nine position, almost in that creative role. But he's played 92% of the minutes. He's 39 years old, playing in altitude, playing in smog, playing in these crazy conditions with this crazy travel, and it's not been conducive to him or the club. And that being said, he leads Pumas in assists with four. Yeah. He may also not be out of the World Cup picture entirely. I was looking at the Brazil roster. Danilo is the only, like, true yeah. right back that they Fabinho have in the list of played defenders. Right back as well, yeah. But, but, you know, he could still have very much a, a shot at making the team for the upcoming World Cup. Pumas, by the way, right now 16th, Herc, out of 18 teams in the Mexican table. Three games left. So Andres Lilini's squad still alive, but they got a, a lot of work to do. Atlas, meanwhile, they've been eliminated. There will be no three-peat. They lost to Rayados, who are just one point back of America at the top of Liga MX. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.